Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Can't Communicate episode number 4. Okay, the previous episode, um, we met, uh, got another friend, Agari, and she is a little bit of an eccentric, just like all the other characters in this show, I think. And um, she's shy, she's kind of shy like Komi, not to that extent, but still. And she is a bit of a masochist, I guess. Like, you know, by the end, I kind of, we kind of see the whole, like, you know, her kind of saying like, oh, like, I, I'm not worthy of being a friend, but I can be your dog. <laughs> like, you know, like, these are like all the eccentric characters all in one school. And it's just so great. And I'm really looking forward to what new type of characters we're going to see. Like, we've already got a f little glimpse of some other characters, for example. Yamai-san, uh, you know, he, she's a Yandere, full-on Yandere, and I think there's like a Chunibyo in this show as well from the opening, you know, we can see like the, I think it's a girl, isn't it? Yeah, with the bandages and stuff, <laughs> and uh, like there's a ninja, and like so many characters that are left, we like, that are left to be introduced, and I'm looking forward to them, <laughs> boy, and that was that, and then like, you know, like there were a few other stuff that happened in the previous episode as well, for example, Kumi gets a new phone, she wants, uh, you know, Dadano's number to be first, uh, like, you know, included in her phone and all that stuff. She calls Dadano, uh, like, you know, when she goes back home. And then there's this little game that the classmates were playing and, like, you know, all those, like, slice of lifey stuff that happened. So, yeah, that was a fantastic episode. Let's see what this episode brings. So, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number four of Komi Can't Communicate. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, eye examination? <laughs> oh my god, how will Komi do this? <laughs> um, just signal, you know, with your hands. Uh. <laughs> Her hands are also blushing. What is this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's a little red tinge on her hand. Hands are also blushing, my god. Okay, so probably we'll get another friend in this episode or maybe not. Let's see I'm looking forward to meeting the Junibio character, you know with the eye patch and the bandage <laughs> Okay. Hmm. God is, yeah, God, she's a God. Oh, this girl. Yadano Makeru. Doesn't want to lose or something, Makeru? Yeah, doesn't want to lose. There you go, Makeru. My god, my Japanese knowledge is coming in handy. <laughs> okay, she's a competitive character. 
Oh, <laughs> what is this? No, she's, she's, she's sign, signing. Zero punch, sir. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Masaka. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is this persona or something? Okay. Okay, let's see. I'm sure. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. <laughs> You lost. True? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's a tie. What the hell? It's like Jojo posing. <laughs> Average because his name is Tada no Hito Hito. I am red. Yep, an ordinary person. Ooh, he got kidnapped. Great. Yama Irin. Yeah, you're ill. You have Yandre problems. Yep, she is an Yandre. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <laughs> yeah, Yandre need to keep their distance. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe she has a collection or something in her house. Oh! Oh my god, no, please, stop that. Stop that. She has a collection. I was just joking. Uh, uh, the only mask. Oh no. Run, girl. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see what she does with Najimi. <laughs> oh ha oh ha <laughs> Kom is like how should I respond? <laughs> oh Oh great, okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. Wow, this girl. Yeah, she's. Oops, oops.
Where did Tadano go? He, like, he was kidnapped midway, like what? Hmm. <laughs> oh, she's like, oh my god, this is great. No. <laughs> Start on a seat. Hmm. In which? Okay. That sounds weird. Yep, that's Tadanos. <laughs> uh. Damn. <laughs> Nah, Jimmy's like, what is this? Okay. Oh boy, Tatan was still kidnapped. Someone go find him. I think like, maybe this girl actually kidnapped him. It won't surprise me. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who kidnapped him? Oh my god, it is it is Yamai, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this must be Yamai's Yamai's room. Wow. Yep, it is Yamai. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're heading towards a bad ending, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um. Kumi didn't say a word. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Okay, dilemma. But Tata knows there. Oops! Oops! Yeah. Well, okay, so now <laughs> she needs to somehow, <laughs> oh my god, like let Tadano out, oh, wait, she's just letting them in like that? What? Okay, there you go, or maybe she won't let them in in this room, yeah, that's probably it. <coughs> yeah, obviously with the photos and everything. Uh, forests. How about forest? <laughs> she said, "I'll bury you." Like the subtitles were kind of wrong. 
What the hell? Zipling. <laughs> Great. <sighs> Damn. Like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> is like, what is happening here? <laughs> okay, now's the time. <laughs> oh my god good there you go that's good now nah, jimmy come on <laughs> nice <laughs> what oh yeah we'll have to kill you then oh no What is that? Chopsticks? <laughs> yeah, that's some sharp stop chopsticks. Uh, uh, um, <clears throat> that's some long chopsticks. What the hell? Um Um Ah uh, no, how about no? Damn, this girl's crazy. <laughs> Um, uh, how about for me? Yeah, <clears throat> my God, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, don't, don't. Well, that's what everyone says, so all the young race have the same. <laughs> yeah, she didn't like like Tadano being insulted, you know, that's what she. Yeah, there you go. Well, there you go. Hmm. <laughs> Run, Tadano. <laughs> Where's Najimi? She's already out, I think. Wait, Najim is there. <coughs> <coughs> what are you doing? <coughs> Run! Why did she go out when they were going? Oh my god. <coughs> yeah, you forgot Najimi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, like it's understandable. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Wait, what conversation does she have with Tadano? Ooh. Yeah. Is it okay for us? Oh, she's thinking she's going to cause problems for him. I think that's what she's thinking about. Yeah, okay, okay. 
<clears throat> she's thinking that this might happen in the future as well so <clears throat> my god <laughs> in other words my fault uh... my god <clears throat> okay that's what's bothering her <clears throat> Yeah. Well, as you said, let me choose my friends on my own. So I, sh I'm think I think Tadano also has that same, you know, thought. Let me choose my friends on my own. There you go, that's what I was saying. Like she said, that let me decide my friends for my own. Same applies to Tadano. <laughs> Dark story. Apologize. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's talking. Wait. She's talking. <laughs> there you go, she talked. <laughs> okay, that was cute. <clears throat> oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, apologize, please. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, because you were the victim there. Um... <laughs> no, that's not how it works. Uh... Yeah. Damn, I'm seeing a Yandere being converted for the first time. <laughs> kind of a rare, rare occurrence. I don't think she'll completely convert, but still, you know. Um. Great. <laughs> Where'd she get the chopstick from? Uh Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I properly explained it to her. I never knew that. Yeah. How could this happen? Me being number one Komi-san fan. <laughs> wow. Um Okay. Um you waiting for an invitation? Yeah. <laughs> the face 
hesitating yep understandable here you go here's an invitation but there are <laughs> wow 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 what is this <laughs> Oh, they, they had a conversation after that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wow. There you go, another one. Okay, is there something left? Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's obvious. The, oh my god, that's it. God, this episode. <laughs> uh, I think Yamai's story was the biggest, wasn't it? Like, I mean, it almost covered almost all of the episode. And <laughs> because obviously, like, you know, there's a lot of things going on. <laughs> and she's a young. Okay, the first character that we actually meet here is. Okay, what was her name? Just a sec. Um, Makeru? Just a sec. Let me check it again. Ya Yadano Makeru. Okay. Uh, I think her name actually, which Yadano Makeru means Yadano means I don't want to Makeru lose. I think that's what her name actually means. Let me just double check. Uh, Makeru. I think that's what her name actually means. Makeru means losing. Yadano means I don't want to. I don't want to lose. That's basically the, the literal translation of her name, I think. Just a sec, let me check. Um, her name is a play on the words of the, on the phrase, Makeru Yadano. There you go. <laughs> Makeru Yadano, I don't want to lose. Uh, means I hate losing. Oh, the, the names are done so cleverly. I love this. You know, the, the word plays and the puns. Like, it's like the best part of this show. <laughs> Especially, uh, you know, for people who have basic, you know, knowledge about Japanese, they'll really enjoy this, you know, like, like trying to find out what the different characters are by actually learning their names. Like, as soon as I saw, like, her name is Makiru, I was like, okay, is, this, is, is, is she somehow related to losing or something? She don't want to lose or something like that. And there you go. Her personality is she doesn't want to lose. <laughs> wow. And it'll be very easy to remember their names, you know, at least for me, because their personalities is related to their names. I probably won't forget them easily. <laughs> but okay, so yeah, in the first section, we see how Makeru is all like, you know, like trying to be competitive with Komi-san and <laughs> like, you know, in every almost all of the different uh, parts, different sections, she loses by small little mar margins and <clears throat> like you know then i think the sitting position and uh, what was that the weight i think yeah weight and the sitting position that was it wasn't it yeah she was more and she was like yeah i won then she thought that wait that should have been less and then she says that no like that's not the case like different places actually value different types of people and like you know they have different types of what can i say way of uh you know like uh what can I say like like sitting position as she said something like there's like yeah like in different places and there's one place probably there's different places on the earth where there uh where is that yeah there must be some country where women with short legs are more popular there you go and what was the other thing that she was wait yeah <laughs> savannah okay okay I remembered that <laughs> <laughs> so she was thinking of those type of things and that's what I say as like you know like that's what it is like what beauty is something that is um uh different for different people how people look at the world like you know there there might be people who as she said like who prefers uh, a little bit shorter you know there might be people who prefers uh, people who are a bit taller so it's subjective that's what I was trying to say it's subjective beauty is subjective and <clears throat> That's why, like, you know, those parts are like, you know, like a kind of like in, a, uh, what do you say? And if you look at it that way, then all the other things as well, for example, height as well, you know, like she says that she lost in height. As she said, like there, might, there are different places where, uh, you know, people who are a little bit of 
shorter heights they are considered more beautiful like you know like as i said sub, uh, beauty is subjective so it, it doesn't matter in the okay like uh, i you know like i what do you call it the eye score was i think uh, call me one there because obviously if you have better eyesight it's better overall you know like and um but if you think it in another way you know like like if you have ba but oh no no that's different i was thinking like if you had bad bad eyes you might have to wear glasses and that might look cute on you or something <laughs> i was thinking of a different thing but you know like most of the things most of the things in these type of situations are subjective and like actually like you know uh, trying to compete in these things are kind of i guess pointless in a way uh, unless and until it's something that is very you know like very clear cut for example um oh, what can i say your strength you know if you like you know uh, what do you call it measure your strength having more strength is better overall so those type of things and uh, are what can i say you can compete in them but stuff like you know like your whether you're fat or not whether you are tall or not whether you're short you know like your sitting position all these things these are completely subjective and obviously like proper uh <clears throat> what do you call it comparison can't be made in these type of things so that's why she was like yeah it's it's a tie like you cannot compete in, that, in these type of things now in the future like you know if we actually see a situation where they are probably let's see competing in a sports festival or something you know there she can do stuff like this she'll be like yeah let's see who wins here she can be competitive in those type of situations because those are stuff that are supposed to be competitive in so like those type of competitive situations she can like you know she can judge properly there but not here you know not in uh like you know in physical or health uh uh what, what was that physical ed no what what is what class was this just a sec physical exam yeah physical exam not in a physical exam but in different other different stuff for example who is better at studying you know who is better at sports or who is better at cooking these these can be competitive you can com be competitive in these type of stuff but not this you know not physical examination so <clears throat> yeah but overall you know like overall being a little bit fit is better so i guess you can say you know that yeah like having a proper uh like you know diet proper uh what do you call it uh yeah proper diet proper exercise those are uh, important but still anyways uh that was that that was the whole thing with i forgot her okay L let me remember her name makeru yeah <laughs> that's it the <laughs> i won't actually forget names here because their names are the literal translations of their personalities <laughs> okay so all right so the next scene we come to yamai san oh boy um yamai okay her name obviously it's very easy like you know yamai which means illness and yandreism you know is that a word yandreism <laughs> i don't know um it is kind of an illness you can say like you know like obviously people who act like this like you know like kidnapping people just so <laughs> that's not a good okay so you can call this an illness and that's why yamai san and <clears throat> here the first thing that yamai does is kidnap stadano my god and you know like then she starts like you know tries to get closer to komi and then like you know <laughs> najimi says that you know what let's visit your house you know komi will also be there we'll be able to spend more time with her <clears throat> because it seems like you want to spend time with her because you're sitting in tadano's decks all the time so let's go to your room uh, house and yamai is obviously too yandere to actually care about uh, whether it will like you know be a problem because she has someone in her room <laughs> kidnapped and she still brings them here like she's so yandere that she doesn't even care and <laughs> she's just so happy with you know komi being at her house and <clears throat> my god and then like <laughs> she removes all the pictures she puts tadano in a closet and my god and it, it was really like you know like what can i say it was actually najimi that saved this whole situation because of her um like you know meddling uh, attitude like you know she whatever people tell her not to do she'll do that 
So <laughs> just as Yamai said that, you know what, don't you dare open that closet. Najimi is like, you know what, let's just open it. Yeah, that's actually what saved Tadano here, my god. <laughs> and now here's the thing. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people, um, especially who are new to anime, uh, watching this episode will probably get very much weirded out and they'll be like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? Like, call the police on her and stuff like that. And like, you know, watching anime, like at least me watching anime for eight years, I understand this is like a type of, uh, you know, like, uh, like this is a character trope. And we've seen a lot of Yandere's, you know, and um, like, you know, like me watching anime for eight years, I've had a, a lot of like, you know, my share, fair share of Yandere's. I've seen my fair share of Yandere's as well. And like this <laughs> Yamai, is probably a very what can i say like you know low tier yandre in if you actually like you know uh, what do you call it if you actually uh judge her from what she did in this episode now i'm not sure what will happen in the future episodes like this is basically the first episode where we see her actually you know showing yandre tendencies kind of like you know suspected it from the first episode but we were not sure about it but here she actually shows Yandere tendencies. So from this episode that I'm, I'm I'm trying to say, if I actually judge her, she as a Yandere she is very low tiered because she's not that much dangerous. I have seen a lot of Yandere's who are just full on crazy, you know, full on crazy, and it's it's like you know it, you can't believe what they can do, and <laughs> so like you know like actually seeing a yandere like you know yamai san go and like apologize first of all that's not what yandere do they don't apologize they don't care actually you know that's what yandere is are they just do whatever the hell they want to and so obsessive crazy completely and they can even harm the person that they love you know like that's how crazy yandere's are well here we can see that yamai obviously has a uh, like you know a lot of respect for Komi you know and she you know she definitely will never harm Komi so that's why I'm saying that as a Yandere she is not that much dangerous if you actually put her in like you know in rankings she'll probably be in the lower tier ranks because of her personality so that's why like you know like I'm pretty much used to these type of stuff that's why I was not even surprised <laughs> looking at stuff the stuff that she was doing you know like bringing Tadano here one thing that I was surprised is uh, like you know like actually like you know putting an yandere in a slice of life show that's one thing that was I was surprised about but now that I think about it there are a lot of eccentric people in this show so yeah it's not that much of a surprise I guess <laughs> but still you know so as a yandere she is not that much of an yandere I guess because yandres will never um, apologize you know they don't care and they'll like you know like <laughs> they they can even kill you like that's what the Andres are. So looking at this episode here, we can see that Yamai does have actual you know like what do you call it actual sense you know like actual um you <laughs> what do you, what do you call that uh, actual human like any understanding like she's not completely crazy because she actually apologized by the end and yeah that's all well and good so for people who are like you know weirded out by this episode i'm sure there will be a fair share of people who gets completely weirded out by this episode i know so <laughs> for me like you know like i have to say that's just anime you need to get used to this you know like anime has weird stuff and this is nothing you know? like what this episode episode showed us was nothing it was just the surface of the weirdness that anime has so <laughs> if you're new to anime and you're weirded out by this don't you worry <laughs> you'll get pretty much used to it <laughs> if you keep watching anime for one or two years you'll get used to it every one of us has gotten used to this <laughs> no need to worry about that my god and as i said this is very you know mild yandere's this is very mild yandere'ism this is nothing that much wild. Yandres are wild completely. They they're crazy. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My God. So yeah. Anyways. So 
Okay, so here we see <laughs> Yamai actually like, you know, like uh, even when they, he, she got found out that, you know, like she's keeping Tadano captive. She's like, oh, Komi, you know, like you don't deserve to, like, you know, like Tadano doesn't deserve to be your friend. Stuff like that she was saying. I think that was actually what pissed uh, Komi off because, you know, Tadano is the one who actually showed her how to, uh, like you know make friends and is helping her and that's why like you know insulting some she was basically insulting him like you know insulting someone um who is basically kind of like the uh what do you call it like one of the best friends of komi in front of her did not sit well with her obviously and you know that's why she was like you know what i'll choose my friends on my own like, you know you don't have any right to say who should be friends with me and like they just leave like that and like if, if if this was like an actual crazy yandere you know what she would have done she would have probably taken the chopstick and i don't know like start you know like try to attack komi because that's what yandere's are like they have this mentality that yeah like if if like you know if if, if this person that i like if he or she doesn't like me back you know i'll kill them that's why like you know they'll be with me forever or something like they have this like twisted mentality that's what yandres are so that's why i'm saying like um yamai is a very mild yandre and she's not that much crazy <laughs> she's pretty normal as a yandre so yeah she like you know she actually like you know stopped and she was shocked at that moment and she after that she actually sat down and talked with osana i think that's what we see in the last scene and you know like they were like osana was like just just calm down you know like just go and ask for forgiveness everything will be okay and the next scene where we see like komi actually talking with tadano uh <clears throat> you know that was at, at that time i was thinking like what would we like what conversation can she even have with tadano because like you know i thought she was going to talk with uh yamai but why is she bringing Tadano here? And then I realized that the, act, the thing that's actually bothering her is that uh, if she's bothering Tadano or not, you know, like um, all these things that was happening here, like the problems that she had to go through because of her sake, is thinking like, obviously she'll try to make more friends and there will be peculiar people, eccentric people like Yamai in the future as well. So that's how, like, you know, she might cause problems for Tadano in the future as well. And that's what was bothering her. So, you know, she, she was like, you don't need to be friends with me anymore if you find that a problem. And Tadano was like, no, like, I also make my own <laughs> decisions who I want to be friends with. So, yeah, that was that. And, like, it was really nice to see Komi actually talk, you know, when she said that, will you be my friend? Like, obviously, that, that one sentence, like, uh, you know, like, contained more... Mm, power you can say like if she because she actually said that with her own words she just did not write it down she used her own words even though she is bad at communicating she used her own voice to actually express that she wants to be friends with him and that was the like you know big, greatest part of the the whole scene and you know and yeah and then Yamai comes and Yamai is like, you know what, I apologize. <laughs> Tadano tells her what the actual problem is, that Komi actually wants friends and she's bad at communicating. And after Yamai, like, you know, calmly listens to that and understands that, she's like, oh my god, this is so great. This is so cute. <laughs> oh boy. And... <laughs> she's like... Um... Can I have an invitation? <laughs> and then Komi actually tells her that, yeah, you also become my friend. But still, in the end, you know, Yamai is like, Yamai, Yamai is like, if you ever t touch Komi-san, I'll b bury you. He's like, you know, she's telling this to Tadano. <laughs> and yeah, like, obviously, that's that's Yandre. Like, you can't do anything about that. Yandres are, you know, Yandres are complicated creatures. And yeah, you, you need to just... <laughs> Just accept the fact that you can't do anything about it. And as I said, Yamai is a very mild Yandere. 
she she's nothing if you compare her to some real wild crazy andres who can just kill people at the drop of a hat and that's why you know what yeah for a slice of life yama is perfect as a yandre now <laughs> You know what? I think this anime is probably going to introduce all the tropes that anime has ever has. I'm sure we'll meet a meet a sooner in the future. I am sure about it. Like, hundred percent sure. No, not hundred, two thousand percent sure that we're definitely going to meet a sundre. We have a yandere with us. Why not a sundre? And I'm sure we'll meet a um, kudre as well. You know, hopefully. Uh, Kudre and all the other different tropes that we have. Uh, Yan, uh, Yandre we already met. Kudre, what else? Dan, uh, Dandre, yeah. But they don't, those are normal people. Uh, Dandre, I think that, that's what they're called. Dandre, just a sec. Uh, yeah, Dandre. Um, Dandres are ca characters who are timid and like, you know, like Ko Komi in a way you can say. Yeah, Komi, I think Komi is like a Dandre, yeah, you can say that. And a few uh, uh, there's a lot of tropes you know like uh, i think there's another trope called himedere yeah like people who actually act like a princess and kamidere as well who act like a god like you know there's like oh i am better than everybody you know like act like a god like these are like different dere types and different archetypes of characters i'm sure we'll meet a lot of them and uh, other tropes and animes as well for example osana Najimi, as we can see junibyo will probably meet them and what else what else tropes do we have well we have a masochist probably a sadist in the future as well i'm not sure you know like i'm sure they're going to probably introduce each and every archetype that anime has ever seen and i'm really looking forward to that like she's saying like 100 friends so each and every character will have a certain peculiarity and i just am loving this whole concept of actually meeting like all the character archetypes in a single show you know in a single show we'll probably meet all the character archetypes and i i'm i'm, I'm just looking forward to that so much you know so yeah this is great so that's it so that was this episode uh, a great episode and as i said <laughs> people who are new to this anime might get weirded out by, by this episode but don't you worry <laughs> you'll get used to it <laughs> just keep watching anime for a few more years you'll get used to everything so <laughs> so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to komi can't communicate episode number four so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of komi can't communicate until then goodbye and have a nice day